Several times a week, I talk to people who tell me how they'd like to get into competitive shooting, but they don't know how to begin. In this video, we'll go over the things that you need to know before you think about becoming a competitive shooter. The first thing to figure out is what game you want to play. This is going to be a decision based upon the type of shooting you enjoy and partly on what options are available in your area. For this video, we're just going to talk about pistol sports, but there are also three gun, shotgun, carbine, and long range rifle sports, and a lot of the same advice applies to those games. If you live in a larger metropolitan area, there may be several clubs to choose from, and each club may offer different sanctioned and unsanctioned competitions each week. In more rural areas, you may only have one club offering a single sport. How you proceed will depend on which game your chosen club plays. They may be affiliated with the International Defensive Pistol Association, or IDPA, the International Practical Shooting Confederation, or IPSC, which we refer to as IPSC, or they may have their own competitions and rules for the games they play at that particular club. These clubs can be outlaw, meaning they are not officially affiliated with a larger organization, and the competition doesn't move you up in the ranks in a national or international standing, or they may be sanctioned events that can qualify you to compete in larger regional, national, or international competitions. If you like dressing up as a cowboy, and let's be honest, who doesn't? Then you can join a single action shooting society or cowboy action shooting. The point is, know what game you'll be playing before you start gearing up, because the requirements will be different. There are even subcategories within each discipline, such as limited, stock, single stack, and many others. You can jump online to see what options are available, but another resource is your Sportsman's Warehouse Gun Counter Associate. They know most of the local clubs and organizations, and a lot of the competitors gear up at Sportsman's Warehouse. Ask your local associate how to get in touch with the local clubs, and they may even have a website or a phone number for you. Once you know the sport you'll play, it's time to figure out what gear you'll need. The best way to do this is to attend one of the local meets and learn how they play in their club. The biggest impediment to getting started in competition is the fear of looking foolish or making a mistake and being ridiculed. Let me tell you, except for the very rare exception, every one of these clubs wants you to come and compete with them. They're extremely welcoming and eager to help you get into the sport. They will gladly answer questions, provide copies of the rules, and some even provide a coach or a mentor to help you get started. They may require a membership fee to join the club, and some don't even require that, but there usually is a minimal fee to compete in each match. I've seen some as low as $5 per round. The real expense comes when it's time to gear up, and even that doesn't have to be extreme with the exception of cowboy action shooters. Those guys go over the top to dress the part and purchase period authentic firearms, and that bill can add up pretty quickly. For your standard IDPA or IPSC match, you need to know if they have power factor requirements. Power factor is a requirement that assures every competitor is on similar ground as far as recoil. There are different divisions and larger clubs for various power factors. Some clubs only have a single requirement, and if you don't meet that power factor, you don't get to play. If there were no power factor requirements, then everybody would shoot the lightest recoiling gun possible, and an element of the challenge would be removed. It isn't that hard to play with a 22 pistol. Power factor is simply the weight of the bullet in grains multiplied by the velocity of the bullet out of your gun divided by 1000. You can't use the advertised velocity as that is usually much faster than the actual velocity that you'll get. The length of the barrel also affects the velocity. You need to find a buddy with a chronograph or many of the clubs will have one so you can determine how fast your gun and ammo is shooting. Power factor may also influence what gun you ultimately use. Competitive shooting is in many ways the exact opposite of concealed carry. For concealed carry, you want to hide your gun so it's often smaller. In competition, a larger gun gives you more weight, which helps compensate for recoil. It gives you a longer barrel for faster velocity. It gives you a longer sight radius for more accuracy. The most common stock guns used in competition are the Glock 34 or a G17L, which is a Glock 17 with a longer slide. Long slide Smith & Wesson M&Ps from the Performance Center are also very popular. No matter what you choose, a duty style gun is going to serve you better than a Wonder 9 pocket rocket. You may also want to choose a 40 Smith & Wesson over a 9 so you can meet your chosen power factor. You might also have a club that shoots nothing but single stacks or 1911s. Some clubs only let you shoot your concealed carry setup. It all just depends on the game you are playing. As you advance, you may get into a sport that lets you totally trick out a race gun, attach supports or rests, or some may totally insist that your gun be completely stock with no modifications whatsoever. External safeties are usually not required and most sports don't allow loaded guns off the firing line unless it's your turn to shoot. 
If you fumble with a safety on your round, it can cost you time. While that really rare European pistol may look like the perfect fit and be the right price, keep in mind that there may not be many accessories available for it. There may also be dimensional limitations in your chosen game. Whichever game you play, you're going to need a dedicated gun belt like one of these that has a stiffener so the gun doesn't sag. The belt will be the foundation for all of your other gear. You can wear it as your primary belt or as a secondary belt over your main belt. It's really just a matter of preference. You also need a holster that keeps the gun in place while moving around, but that also doesn't have a combination like a Swiss vault to disengage on the draw. Something like a Kydex holster that the gun will snap into, but will draw with just a pull rather than a retention holster. You're going to need spare magazine pouches to keep your magazines accessible. And on the subject of magazines, I suggest a minimum of six because dropping them in a hurry can be torture and they will wear out, fail, and break on you. You don't want to be out of a competition just because your magazine is toast. Some clubs may require a maximum size and others may allow you to download your 17 round magazine with only 10 rounds. You just need to find out what they require. Until you get very good, you're going to be on the hook for all your competition and practice ammunition. Find a reasonably priced load and make sure that you practice with the same stuff you'll compete with. The way the gun recoils and the rhythm of the gun will help you to drive your gun properly to rapidly get on to the next target. It also needs to make power factor. And most importantly, you want an ammunition that will reliably perform in your gun. Malfunctions cost time. Another option is to get into reloading and roll your own. Once you lay out the initial cost, the long-term savings with the quantity of ammunition you will need will pay for itself very quickly. If you're in a steel shooting league, then you may need special frangible or polymer coated bullets. It's important to get a good target stand or 10 to practice engaging multiple targets. Also, you'll want to get the same targets that are used in your sport. Sportsman's Warehouse has several targets that are ideal for action pistol sports and even a wide selection of lightweight portable target stands like this Birchwood Casey adjustable steel target stand. They even have Ipsic shaped targets in steel or paper. You're going to want some quality ear protection and I recommend that you get some electronic hearing pros so you can clearly hear the timer, range officer commands, and instructions. I like the Axle Ghost Strike Essentials that are lightweight and enhanced hearing while providing a 29 decibel noise reduction. Something like the Decibel's moldable ear protection may be great if you don't want to go the electronic route. They're moldable with hot water and they give you a comfortable fit all day long. Ballistic rated eye protection will be required and you want something that will stand up to rigorous abuse and also be comfortable for a long time. Clarity will also be important. I like the Loophole Performance Eyewear Tracers because they're ANSI Z87-2 Plus rated and have interchangeable lenses so I can go between eye fatigue reducing yellow or dark smoke for bright sunny days. For practice, you'll want to get a shot timer for working on your splits, setting part times, and generally measuring improvement. You can use an app on your phone, but most of them I found are very limited and don't perform very well. The most important thing you will need to be a successful competitor is a great attitude. Just because you can stand in one place and drill a single hole in a paper target doesn't mean you can do it at a high rate of speed while running from position to position with the pressure of a timer and a score. There is something very humbling about competing against others and against yourself. Look at it as a really fun group activity that will also make you a better all-around shooter. Prepare to learn new things and also to make mistakes. Blew that one. Don't let getting disqualified from a match discourage you. It will happen and it still happens to some of the top competitive shooters in the world. Be a good sport and learn from the experience. See your local Sportsman's Warehouse hunting associate to help you get started and geared up. Be safe and shoot straight.